Hello everyone, today we are going to learn about oxygen cascade. So what is oxygen cascade? The oxygen cascade describes the flow of oxygen from atmosphere to mitochondria, where it is consumed in aerobic respiration to release energy. Oxygen flows from areas with high partial pressure of oxygen, also known as oxygen tension, to areas of lower partial pressures. To understand this cascade, first we have to see what is the partial pressure of oxygen in atmosphere, which is dry air. It can be calculated by this formula. Power to equals FiO2 multiplied by atmosphere pressure, which gives a value of 159 millimeters of mercury. Now this air enters the airways and gets humidifies, which means attaining moisture. This can also be calculated by the same formula, but in this formula to calculate power to, the total partial pressure is subtracted by partial pressure of water because the water molecules displaces the oxygen molecules thus exerting decreased partial pressure. So the value comes here is 149 mm OHG. Further this air enters the alveoli and gets diluted by the carbon dioxide present. It is calculated by this given formula in which PaCO2 is the partial pressure of carbon dioxide and this constant R is the respiratory quotient which has a value of 0.8 for respiration at rest. The PaO2 in alveoli comes out to be around 100 mm of Hg. Now the oxygen moves into the blood by diffusion that is from high oxygen tension to low oxygen tension areas through this alveolar capillary interface. The partial pressure of oxygen in arterial blood is 80 to 100 mm of Hg which helps in loading of oxygen onto the red blood cells. This blood is now pumped to the various tissue sites where the partial pressure is 40 mm of Hg. This oxygen finally enters the mitochondria at partial pressure of 5 to 7 mm of Hg. This oxygen in the mitochondria is now used to generate energy from food in the form of ATP. Here is a short explanation how oxygen travels in blood in bounded form. First the oxygen crosses the alveolar capillary interface by diffusion and then it binds to the hemoglobin molecule in the RBCs. This occurs due to high PaO2 in the lungs, which makes oxygen to sit on the hemoglobin molecule. This is known as association or loading of oxygen. This oxygenated blood passes from heart to various other organs or tissues. The sample taken from from this arterial supply for blood gas analysis will give you increased partial pressure of oxygen and decreased partial pressure of carbon dioxide which forms the basis of ABG. At tissue side there is low PaO2 which makes oxygen to come out of RBCs also known as disassociation or unloading of oxygen so that this oxygen can be utilized for energy making purposes. This deoxygenated blood from tissues will go back to the lungs to get oxygenated and the sample taken from this venous site will show increased PaCO2 and decreased PaO2. So that was all about oxygen cascade in a more simpler way. Thank you.